want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life, you're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is a speaker and author of several books on relationships. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. Good grief. Most women will have to build with a man. This is brought to you by Shante Oils. You know, he has some mind, uh, hair and body spray. He has uh, facial scrubs. He has some other stuff on um, his website. I need y'all to check out his YouTube, his Instagram, and also his Facebook. And yeah, let's help this brother grow. Let's, uh, let's support our own. So, <laughs> you know what, in the background I got jazz playing by David Fathead Newman, Hit the Road Jack. <laughs> That's ironic. That is ironic, right? Anyway, most women go ahead to build with a man. Because the big problem I see, I see with many women looking for a guy, they don't want to build with him. They want him to be everything he's going to be and have everything he's going to have right when they meet him. Like they can just come in. Ladies, that's most that's probably one of the most unrealistic things you wanna expect unless you are drop dead gorgeous, very beautiful in everything. Like physically beautiful. I don't mean a beautiful spirit anyway. That's unrealistic. That's unrealistic. And any woman that don't call another woman on it is is doing them a disservice. The reality is, most women, probably 97% of women out there are going to have to build with a man. So if y'all want a fortune or something like that, you want a fortune, you're going to have to find that guy going in that direction. Now when I say build with a man, let me be let me be a thousand percent clear on that. That don't mean find some bum. You know, don't do that challenge thing. Don't do that challenge thing I talked about a few videos ago. You get some bum and think you're going to clean him up and he, he's going to be big or something, right? Don't mess with him. Or don't get that guy who's talking about what he's going to do. Notice I said talking about what he's going to do, right? Get that guy who's actively working towards what he wants to do and see how you can fit in there. Right, you know, if a guy tell you he he's doing something and he actually show it to you, don't be like, well, you know, come back when that uh, that works out. That's some bullshit. He ain't gonna come back. Ain't no right thinking man who got some self respect for himself gonna deal with you if you couldn't deal with him then. And like I said, it's it's look when you talk about build with them, build with a guy who's building something. And I'm gonna give you one thing. It's not unreasonable to ask that that guy has some basics even when you meet him. It's not unreasonable. You know, it's not unreasonable to say, hey, okay, do you have a car? It's not unreasonable to say, do you at least have a job? It's not unreasonable to say, he at least got his own space. Now, I know some men might disagree with me on it, but, you know, we, we got to compromise. That's not unreasonable to have basics. In fact, I'll say it like this, and this is because I know I got men listening, and I probably need, I probably need to do a video on my other channel about this, but... Really, if a man don't have those basics, uh, the last thing he need to be really worried about is a woman. So women, you know, just like I tell men they can have standards, okay, that's reasonable. That's reasonable to say, okay, do you have these basics? That's reasonable. Because a man having those basics show that he has some level of sovereignty. And that he wants his own. So that's not even about the material stuff, just saying, okay, he got enough sense to know he got to take care of himself. Like, you know, because some women, they'll try to build with a guy who can't even take it, you know, they, they, they like it. You know, you know how some of y'all, y'all get that guy and y'all trying to mother him or whatever, think you're going to lift him up, take him to your bosom and lift him up. Yeah, if that man ain't going someplace anyway, leave him alone. But at the same time, some, like I said, some women want that guy already there. And that's unrealistic. 
realistically, y'all need to be building together. Seriously. You're going to have to build together. You know, and you know what? In building something, say y'all trying to build a business or say it's not even a business, just a family, something. You're going to build. You got to build with them. You know, too often everybody want to come into a situation where, you know, he already done did something. Too many women want to say he already done did it. He got all this stuff. I can just come in and enjoy it. That don't work that way. I'm going to tell you what, with men. The big thing with men is loyalty. That's our big thing. If you want us, a man, to really hook a man, you show you loyal to him. And see, a situation like that show you loyal. That you were there before he got big. Right? Because I'm funny about I'll tell you what, I'm funny about that. You know, I'm getting some notoriety, getting my name out, got my stuff selling all over the world. And I've said this before, when somebody hit me up off of YouTube or something, I'm kind of like, eh, I keep them out of distance. I'll talk to them. I'm cool with them. But unless they already there, unless they there themselves and have some notoriety, which, you know, I have a friend like that. You know, I'm like, eh, I don't know. You know? I don't, I don't know. Because then I'm like, well, would you have been dealing with me when I, you know, when I was at a low point? Even though I had, well, low point, I was married, but still. If I, hypothetically, if I wasn't, I knew I had to get a job, which you had dealt with. You know? But just even, even not even knowing that, uh, you know, not even on the, you know, semi-celebrity, the, the reality is a couple got to build together. And you know what? Plenty of couples get that. Some of the most beautiful business and things happen is because a couple built together. I've because, like, there's a page I follow on Instagram, Black Love Page, right? And they'll show couples who are building businesses together, got their real estate together, going to school. That's the type of build you got to do together. You know, if women want that guy with all of that, shoot, you, and it's just a reality. And see, what that creates, the man knows you loyal, but it also creates a bond. See, man, we don't fall in love off of that, uh, off that Disney shit. We feel, we feel for a woman off a of bond because that bond allows her to enter his boundary. And if a, if you, once you accept it into a man's boundary, and that dude will kill himself, crawl over glass, do whatever it is to uh, keep you happy. He will do it if you're in his boundary. If somebody even so much has glanced at you wrong, he will kill that person. If you're in his boundary. But to get in that boundary, you got to show you down for him. And see, you can't really show you down for a guy and you messing with him if he already been there. If he already got his money, if that guy already made a million without you, how you going to show that you really down for him? Seriously, how, how, what, you wanna, what can you possibly say or do? Now, now that's a real question. I want, in fact, I want somebody to tell me. I want a woman to tell me. I want a woman to get in the thing and tell me how you want to show a man who's already made a million dollars or a man at a level of success, you know, how you really down for him. I'm, seriously, I want to see it. See, that's, that's the key. Understand, we're not thinking the same way. That's what we look for in a woman. Is she cooperative? Is she loyal to us? Is she down for us? Is she going to go through it with us? That's, that's how we think, you know? Too many women got a Cinderella fantasy because even even with those uh, guys who got money, they deal with those trophy type women, those beautiful women. They just using them in many cases. That's just a trophy thing. That's just somebody pretty having on their arm and the fuck. You know, and some might even marry that, you know, some of them might even marry that woman, get a pretty kid or something. You know, just a hat. Why they still fucking with the other trophies? Yeah, I'm going to be raw with this. But if you want that man, you want that successful man. You know, you need to be there, a part of that build. Now, I know there's some stories out there. Some men leave their women. You know, they get to a level and they leave their women. You know what? That's part of the game. That's the chance you take. But there's plenty of other cases where people been there. You got celebrities. Like, that's an example of everybody. You know, you see somebody like Ice Cube or Samuel Jackson or Denzel Washington. Plenty of other people. They've been with the same mate for years. You know, uh, 
I can't, Sterling, uh, I think his name's Sterling Brown. You know, he praised his woman. Uh, somebody like uh, Russell Westbrook, basketball player. Because those women were down for him from the get-go. Right? And you don't hear about that. See, we don't talk about that. Too many people talk about the negative thing. But they were building with them from the get-go. They were there when these guys had nothing. You know? And that's how you got to catch that man. And then you got to build, build with him. And like I said, you know, it, it's okay. You know, very least he got a job or something like that. But then even then, sometimes you, you, the thing you really got to look at, what's he doing? Is he actively working towards it? Like say, okay, acting. Is this dude actively, is he going to acting classes? Is he going on casting calls? You know, is he doing stuff to perfect his craft? You know, how hard is he working? Look at all that. Look at the guy actually building on his own. And then figure out how you can add to it. Because that Cinderella thing, thank you, you want to get some guy uh, who already made it, that's fantasy. And anybody feeding you that bullshit like you really can get them, <laughs> they taking your money. Seriously, they taking your money. Because even with the real beautiful women, they still have, they still going to have some issues. Because the guy ain't going to only take them so seriously. So if you want them, you, the reality is... You going to build with them. You know, like I said, like I said, I'm gonna reiterate. It's fair for you to look for somebody who's actually building, and don't have that fantasy or challenge uh, thing, or that you're gonna get some bum who just happen to be cute to you to build, and they ain't going in that direction on their own. They ain't gonna go it with you. So, yeah, I want y'all to think about that, because you know, I'm gonna reiterate on this channel. I'm gonna give y'all some real talk. I ain't going to tell you what, what you want to hear. Anybody doing that is pimping you. Real talk. Any, anybody doing that is straight pimping you. But I'm going to just tell you the real deal. So anyway, that's it for today. <sighs> I'll talk to y'all later. <sighs> Peace and blessings. <laughs>